Hello everybody, if you want to create some bundles of your products into your Shopify store, you are in the right place. So let's begin, let's jump right into it. So first of all, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description. So you can get a great 30 day free trial of this great Shopify store. And with that being said, let's jump, uh, let's jump right into it. All right, so first of all, guys, what I wanted to do when I wanted to show you uh, real quick is that we do have a Shopify store that is not listed yet. Everything is not active yet. We do have some products, but if you want to go into the bundle section, I mean, it's really easy. You just need to go into your products and then we can categorize that with an application. But before we date into that, I want to show you how you can add products here into Shopify, which is also really simple. Here I have four products. These four products were added. As you can see, I do have a very lot uh, in the inventory as a stock because these products are drop set. So if I go into my applications, I want to go into teasers. And here into teasers, I do have a lot of products that I can add into my store. So once I have my products into this store, what I want to do, let's say for example, that I want to add, I'm just going to add something um, more into my suppliers into my website so i want to go into the home section and here into the home section you just need to go into uh, this option and i'm going to import that into my list so i can go into the import list and these are the products that i do have available into my store if there's something that i haven't added yet into my store i just need to click into this option and click into push to shopify I hit into Purchase to Shopify and we're actually good to go. Now, if I want to sell, let's say, for example, these two items in just one listing, what I can do is to go back into my Shopify. I want to go into my products and I want to make sure that all my products has been added correctly. So as you can see, I have another product that I just added a few seconds ago, which is this uh, flower stuff. So I want to check the status, so successfully pushed one. So I'm going to go back into my Shopify and try to reload my page to see if my product has been listed so far. So there, as you can see, it has been listed correctly. Now, what we can do in order to, let's say, create a new bundle of everything, like all in one, what I want to do is to go into apps and here into apps, I want to go and look for Bundler. So here into Bundler, this is an application that can help us to make a bundle of our products without having to deal with like a code if you don't know a lot of pages or website creations. So this application is going to be creating that for us. So I'm going to go into uh, install this application. So once you have this application already installed, what you want to do is to open it into your application. So it's going to be looking like this. So I'm going to hit into create a bundle. Now it says uh, select a bundle preset. So whether you want to choose a classic bundle or a volume discount, a volume discount is like a site with a product specific discount when customers buy it in bulk or if they want a discount when they buy the specific products. So in my case, I do want to look for the classic bundle. And now here, what we can do is to add the bundle name. So for example, I'm going to choose all in one. The complete, um, the complete box, something like that. And here I have the title. This is like the landing page or the URL. So you can get like, uh, get a discount for this amazing box and the description buy these products together and get a Huge discount you can customize this as you want. This is just an example. Okay, and then we have the total price summary Advanced mode. So here's the total original price and this is the discounted price so this is going to be appearing into my my ad so for example this was a hundred dollars and now it's going to be scratched and the new price is going to be appearing here like for example 75 or 180 dollars something like that and here I have the call to action 
I can add to cart uh, or choose another text if I want to do. And I have this count with prior to checkout and the priority sequence I have just a 10. Now I want to active my bundle status, but first of all, I do want to pass it before I, pu I publish that into my store. Specifically speaking about if my if my store has been already active, so I'm going to pause because we want to just make sure that everything is okay, and then we can active that bundle. So uh, this discount can only be claimed by customers tagged with the following tags. So if I already have some customers that have some specific tags, um, I can add those. In my case, I don't want to focus in the, so I want to just close this option. And here, if I want to sketch a bundle, like for example, some specific date for a Black Friday or something like that, I can schedule a bundle here. And here is the interesting part, the discount. So I want to have, in my case, a percentage discount. So I want to fill a 20% discount of all my products, of all the bundle section. And of course, I want to enable the free shipment here. So I'm gonna scroll a little bit down and here I have the discounted products in bundle. So what I want to do is to choose products. And as you can see, I have all this product with this specific, um, this specific uh, different options to buy. So for example, what I want to choose is only this backpack in gray. And there we go. Now, what I want to do is to save this bundle. Now, automatically added a new product variant if I wanted to. If you don't, it's okay. But uh, if you want to add some variants, if, if your product has more than one variant, you can add automatically new products. Then, if you want to add some conditions, uh, you can do that. In my case, I do want to choose, let's say, for example, this option. And then I'm good to go. So, what I want to do is uh, speaking about the landing page, this is only available for the premium section, so I just don't want to miss in there. I just want to save my bundle, and there we go. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is to scroll a little bit up and have my bundle already active. I'm going to look for that here, my bundle cells, I'm going to go into active and hit into save bundle and of course that this widget of this bundle has to be into show, right? So after that, you want to go back into your store. I'm gonna go back into the product section to see if my bundle is now successfully added. So if you want to see that, you want to go into your online store and inside your online store, you want to go into the customize and inside the customize, you might see that the widget of the bundler has been added successfully. And there we are, just good to go. Now remember guys, that this application, it do have a premium subscription. And uh, if you choose one of these options that appears with this green um, clock section, it's gonna be sending you into the approved subscription of bundler so you can have everything enabled. So you might want to consider that before you make any of these changes. So there we guys, now you know how to add your bundles uh, here into Shopify. Just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about the Shopify section. Thank you once again for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.